Well, welcome everyone. We're so happy that you joined us today for this Capstone and ISTE Present webinar with our friends from Merge and Novel Effect. And we're going to talk today about bringing Sonia's digital world to life with Novel Effect and Merge. One exciting thing that we have to share, and we're going to choose winners who are attending live and those who post on social media during the webinar. So we wanted to make sure to share this first thing. There'll be five winners today and I love the prizes. So you guys make sure that you share in the chat and we'll talk about this at the end too. So exciting giveaways. And it does say, put your questions in the chat. Is that up and running Stephanie? Or you can put them in the Q and A too. And it should so, be up and running. Okay. <laughs> but if it's not, just put them in the chat. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking at the Q and A and I think the chat is still disabled. So go ahead and put your questions in the, the Q and A. I've seen a few. Yes. Comes. And okay. that's, that's a good way too. So put them in there. And we have lots of people on the webinar today from Novel Effect, Merge, and Capstone. And so people will be able to answer questions as we go, which is always a really good thing. Now, as we get going, we wanted to share the link to the slides because there are things that we're going to be sharing today. And so you can grab this bit.ly or scan the QR code and put it on your device. So then you have it and you're able to use all the things that, that we are sharing. Give you a few seconds to grab that. And I'm sure that people, maybe somebody can put that in the Q&A too. But just to get started, um, introducing ourselves, my name is Shannon McClintock Miller. I am the district teacher librarian at Van Meter Community School in Van Meter, Iowa. I also work with Capstone as their community leader, and I am the author of Sonia's Digital World, which is so exciting. One of the neatest things that I've ever done in my career. I serve too as the Future Ready Librarian Leader and I'm an ISTE author and Making It Happen recipient. Um, you can find me on social at Shannon M. Miller. I put my email in there and I blog at the Library Voice. So lots of different ways that we can connect. I also am excited that my friend Jenna is here from Capstone Community and Capstone and ISTE, I'll tell you in a little bit how they came together to work and publish Sonia's Digital World. You can find Capstone Community here on social. And also I wanted to share some upcoming webinars from Capstone. So excited on the 26th of September is the Capstone Hot Picks. These are fall 2023 titles. There is a link in this slide where you can register. And then there's going to be in October, a five-part digital citizenship series. And super excited about those two. And the registration for those webinars will be coming out very soon. And so you'll be able to follow on social to sign up and then join us either live or get access to those recordings. Amazing. Um, my name is Stephanie. I'm here from Merge and I'm the community manager. I'm super excited to share with you today how you can use Merge with C uh, Shannon's new book, Sonia's Digital World. Um, but if you don't know Merge, I'll just tell you a little bit about us. Essentially, um, Merge EDU is a hands-on digital learning platform that students can explore and learn with simulations and 3D models that they can actually hold. So it uses augmented reality technology. It comes with apps, um, a web-based dashboard where you can find all sorts of amazing resources. Um, I linked to our website on this slide and I also put our Twitter and Instagram, or should I say X and Instagram, I need to get used to that still. Um, but yeah, I'm so that's Merge. I'm excited to share more in just a little bit. Thank you, Stephanie. Hi there, I am Catherine from Novel Effect. And Novel Effect is our amazing app that as you read aloud your favorite picture books, it adds music, sound effects, and character voices to the background. Uh, we will be doing a demo of it with Sonia's Digital World in just a bit, so look out for that. Um, we have books in English and Spanish on our app. We also have eBooks, just like Sonia's Digital World. Um, so we'll talk more about it in just a bit. Thank you. 
So how Sonia's Digital World came about, I wanted to just give a little background, is ISTE and Capstone came together for a new partnership. And Sonia's Digital World is the first book that is going to come out of this partnership. And it's so exciting because not only having Sonia's Digital World be something where we celebrate like all the ways that we're connected and using technology, it's also neat to think about how this is supporting, you know, not only our students at school, but our teachers and our families too. And so this series is going to just really make a difference within our schools and coming together and thinking about like Sonia's digital world and writing it. A really important part of it was making sure that the ISTE student standards were represented in the book. And so throughout the book, Sonia and her family and her friends are doing all the things that we want our kids to do when we have them in the classroom and in the library, when we're supporting our families at home. And one thing for me is thinking about, you know, not only how we are connected just as people in the world that we live in, but also as I wrote the book, I thought about my own two kids and my kids are in the book, um, Brianna and Hagen, they're characters in Sonia's digital world. And when Brianna was little. It was so neat to see how she would teach like her grandma and grandpa all the things that they needed to know about their iPad or their Kindle or their phone. And Brianna's almost 30 now. And so thinking about, you know, all those years of her teaching her grandparents and others these skills was something that I really wanted to shine through in the book. And so the way that Brianna interacted with the grandparents was something that was really important for me because when I read the book to our kids today at school, these are things that our kids are doing. And these are stories that our kids can relate to because they see their grandparents on a video or they might call them on the phone and FaceTime with them. And so it's something that's really important to them when it comes to their family, but also as they're interacting with their friends. And Hagen in the book, he goes to coding camp and he's so excited telling Sonia about it and celebrating the things that he can create. And I think about my own kids like in the library and all the things that we've done. And this is a picture actually probably from 10 years ago, maybe even 11. One of our first connections where we're actually having a Zoom with an author, well, that time it was Skype, and celebrating the book and connecting our kids and how excited they were. And so also in the book, that was a really important thing for me was to show, you know, how our kids can connect with others around the world. And one neat thing is on the wall is actually the ISTE student standards. That's a poster that ISTE created, but you can see that on the wall. So that tie-in is such a great thing as we pull it out and we put it in our classroom. And this is one that ISTE has made for younger kids, but they also have them for older ones too, but being able then to have those great conversations around the ISTE student standards. And in the back of the book and also in the teacher resources, we have put together, and I love what Capstone created, the poster around I am a digital explorer using Sonia and the characters from the book. And so I will show you in a minute how you can get to that. But today I had so much fun sharing Sonia, seeing Sonia like in the library now and going to our classrooms. And one of my favorite things about Sonia is that there is a novel effect that goes with it. And so this soundscape is so neat and I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Awesome, I'd love to share more about that. So um, Sonia's Digital World is free and unlocked on Novel Effect. We do also have the ebook on there as well. Um, you can scan that QR code that you see on the screen. And if you already have Novel Effect downloaded, it'll open right up. And I would love to do a demo to um, show you how Novel Effect works with Sonia's Digital World. I'm gonna click it one more time. And you can see that the ebook is pulled up and I can just swipe through this is hard to do. <laughs> Swipe through the pages and start reading. Around your neighborhood and around the world, people are connecting. Learning, playing, 
talking, working, laughing. I can do a swipe. And if I wanted to have conversations with the students, I could do that. You hear the music is just looping. It's going to wait until I continue to again. There are so many ways to connect. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What devices do you see and use every day? How do they help you? Mom, can you record me? I want to show my friends the dance I just learned. Then maybe we can do it together. I love all of those voice sound effects. It is always great. Good move, Sonia. I'll help you send this video when we're done. Whoa, now that was amazing. Thanks, Mom. You can stay in touch with family and friends. Hey, Grandpa. I'll miss you too when our visit is over. It went by so fast. Don't worry, Grandpa. We can always video chat every other week. Maybe every day. We can be parts of special events even if we're far away. Hey, you've got a front row seat to Carly's play. That's really something. Pretty neat. Just Shannon's favorite part. I think she's singing right to us. Oh, yeah. So I'll stop it there and let you share your screen again. So also on Novel Effects website, we have tons of differentiated activities for your favorite read alouds, including Sonia's Digital World. We have hundreds on there that are free to premium subscribers. And if you scan this QR code, you will get a huge packet of activities you can use with Sonia's Digital World. They are standards-based, differentiated, pre-K through fifth. Um, so it's a great way to extend your lesson after reading aloud with Novel Effect. I also wanted to mention one thing, how we share our novel effect books. And we have had novel effect for like a year and a half now. And we just have had such like, just great response from our kids and our teachers about using novel effect. And so I made a pop-up library right outside of our library door where teachers then can come and get books that we have on the shelf, but we also highlight books each month. And so Sonia's Digital World was in our August and September calendar. When I put these together, I always share them on my blog so you can take them and use them too or switch them up. But Novel Effect also puts together amazing read aloud calendars. And I always start there, see the things that they are sharing maybe books that I have or books that I want to get that tie in then to these calendars and then put them together just in a calendar that I create in Canva. And so in this slide, you can get to the link for this one and I share those then every month. And so it's a really, really great way to just highlight books and share them with your teachers. Awesome. <laughs> uh, something else Novel Effect has going on right now is we have a really cool Dot Day challenge going on. Dot Day is actually tomorrow, September 15th. So as you read aloud with the dot using Novel Effect or any of the books in our Dot Day collection, you are automatically entered to win a really awesome prize bundle. There are five winners, so you have great chances. Um, you will win a bundle of the Create Trilogy books, including The Dot, Ish, and Sky Color by Peter Reynolds, a uh, one-year subscription to Novel Effect, 100 spine stickers for your book, which are super cool. You put them on the spine of your book, and when you have them in your library, you can easily find which books go along with Novel Effect, and a Bluetooth speaker. So be sure to read the dot and the other books in our dot day collection to be entered. Oh, and one more thing, uh, this presentation will be shared. And I believe um, on the previous slide, it's linked to our dot day homepage. And we have a big bundle of dot day activities on there as well. Yeah, that is linked in the slide. So grab that because super cool stuff. We are using it tomorrow at Bam Eater, so I love it. Now, another thing that we have done is we've put Novel Effect and lots of other activities, including the teacher guide 
onto the companion site and it's just found at soniasdigitalworld.com. And so this is something that we'll continue to add to, but the educator guide is filled with so many great resources. And on there, you can also find bookmarks, a paper chain activity, coloring sheets, just all kinds of really neat things, the poster that I shared earlier. And so lots of neat things to do, but one of my favorite ways to use technology was Sonia. And there's even a merge cube inside of Sonia's digital world on the page where Hagen is sharing with Jack about coding camp and how to make a game. There is a merge cube being used by the kids in the library. And we've used merge for from the very beginning and have just been amazing fans and love everything that Merge has brought to all of our kids from our littlest learners that are three and four all the way to our seniors that are in high school. And so I couldn't be more excited that we have collaborated with Merge to have activities that go along with Sonia. Absolutely. And we're so excited to see a little illustrated merge cube. It's every time I open the book and I see that page, I get so excited. Um, so as Shannon mentioned, there's, um, you know, the website for Sonia's Digital World has tons of companion activities. And one of those things is um, holding that eagle. But I thought it might be helpful for those of you who don't know merge to talk about the merge cube real quick. So I've got some here. So the Merge Cube, it's just a soft foam cube. It's soft, it can't break, it can't hurt if it's thrown. Um, and it uses our apps. When you use the apps and the, the device's camera, you can turn the cube all around. And it's like you're really holding a digital object or a simulation. Um, and so it's really cool. And I'm gonna show you how to get started for free um, using the companion activity to see that eagle. Um, so the first thing, if you don't already have a Merge account, you'll just go to trymerge.com and then forward slash Shannon Miller, um, since you're watching it in this webinar, to create a Merge account and unlock a free trial. So even if you already have a Merge account, you don't need a free trial um, to see the eagle. You can always see the eagle for free anytime, but you do just have to have that account. So if you're brand new, go to trymerge.com and unlock a free trial and create an account. If you're an old Merge Cube user, then just um, we'll get to that point as long as you have Object Viewer downloaded onto your device. Um, so you'll wanna get Object Viewer. That is the icon. It's blue, it's got glasses, and I can link you there um, when we share this a presentation as well. Um, and then you'll get a free paper cube. So if you don't have a merge cube, you can print out one for free. You can print out a class set for free, right? All you have to do is just print one and then you can make copies, as many copies as you want. Um, and that's found at mergeedu.com forward slash paper. Um, yeah, we're good. Um, and then this QR code will take you directly to that eagle. So you can either use mergeedu.com forward slash eagle, or you can scan this QR code and all you need to have is that free trial um, and then your object viewer app open. Um, and then once you're in the app, there's a little mode um, at the very top of the screen. You can see here, it says cube mode. That will allow you to hold your merge cube um, and hold the eagle in your hand. So we are so excited. Um, you know, to be able to share this with everybody for free anytime. Okay, one other really exciting thing that you can do in Merge EDU is you can create a whole collection of objects. So if you have any sort of book that has different objects like, you know, a grain of wheat or a grasshopper or something in it, you can actually create a whole collection of items for your students and they can hold them all using the Merge Cube. And we created one for Sonia's Digital World. Anybody can have access to this. If you're already a Merge Cube user, you can just click that link that says, learn how to create your own custom collection. You can get started right away. And if you're brand new, you will have the ability to do this right away with your free trial on the dashboard. So um, this is super fun. And on the next slide, if you scan that QR code, it will take you to the whole collection of objects. So there's a webcam and iPads and smartphones. There's a stick bug um, that we had in Merge EDU because there's a cute little stick bug as a character in the story. Um, so it really gives students those authentic learning experiences, right? They're hands-on and we're taking that learning from the book even further.
And one thing too, in the slide, if you click on this slide, you actually will get to just a Google slide that I made because the other day when we use the merge activities and the collection after the kids listen to Sonia's digital world, I gave all of them just a little sheet of paper. And I love doing this with activities because then they can bring it home too and do it with their family. And I gave them just a printout of a merge cube that they actually can make with their family at home. And so you can get to that and customize it however you want to do that activity too. But a good little tip is to just have it really handy, have all the things that the kids need, and then they can take it home too. But it was fun. They loved the, Stephanie, they loved the egg of the walking stick, of the stick bug. They thought that was really cool. Awesome. <laughs> I know, it was so fun. And it was fun too how um, interested they were in the technology. Like I was, I thought that was really interesting to, to see them too. Another extension activity that I just wanted to point out is one around animal research. And this is highlighting Pebble Go, which is from Capstone. And there is an animal data, database that's perfect for this because then kids can go in again and research a walking stick or an eagle. And I love on the iPad how it's even showing, you know, how kids can use tools like Pebble Go to research and find things. And on this page where it shows the characters in the book, they're actually with their dad. And so it's really fun to see how they can do that when they are just at home too, or out in the wild, looking at things as well. And we did an activity and this was something that was so fun because having the kids walk through just that research, but then even using Pebble Go Create used to be called Buncee to even make then their own digital page about a walking stick or an eagle or even another animal that they might be using. And so we tied it together even with Cami so they could write on that research page. We didn't even have to print it out and all of that came together. So you can see how that would work too. There's a link in there. And then one more thing that's so exciting, we're gonna do this next week starting at Van Meter is we collaborated with my dear friend, Adam Bello and his team at Breakout EDU to create a game, Breakout EDU digital game with Sonia. And so it's called Around the World in Digital Ways with Sonia. And if you have Breakout EDU and the digital games, one of our favorite things at Van Meter is to do these not only with the kids in their whole class or even collaborating, but even on their own. And it's really neat to see Sonia and Hagen and Brianna and all the characters and the kids then get to solve the game. And so you can check that out too. But as we think about the year and we think about things coming up, we have in October, uh, Digital Citizenship Week, and this is a great way to tie in Sonia and the conversations that you can do. There's lots of information to find on common sense education and media. And I love that in the back that parents or teachers or even kids can have these ways of not only using like technology in a positive way, but even having questions that they can explore together. So make sure to point these out, use them as a place to, to have conversations with your kids, if it's in the library or the classroom, or again, like even having it, we're gonna have a literacy night and Sonia's Digital World will be the book that we highlight for that. And just remember all the activities that you can use when you are bringing it all together and having Sonia's Digital World in your school too. So we're really excited about everything that we've already done and can't wait for more collaborations and great things to come with Sonia as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to help and just, I'm excited to hear how you're using Sonia in your classroom and your libraries too. So thank you so much for coming today. Awesome, thanks everybody. Thank you. Thanks everyone.